Hi, my name is Josh Anderson and today I'm going to be talking to you about shooting with your iPhone or iPad. The devices that we're carrying around in our pockets today have such incredible cameras built into them that they're competing with a lot of the high-end DSLRs, so your phone might look a little bit different depending on what operating system you're on. So if you want to have your device look like mine, just make sure you're updated to the iOS 8 software, so some of these things that we're talking about are going to be specific to this update only. So that being said, we're going to go forward. I'm going to go ahead and just click on my device here, and as soon as we click it on right from the start screen, you'll notice the camera at the bottom right of the screen. This is a quick access straight into your device so we can swipe up there and that's one way to access the camera. Going in from the main menu, I'm just going to unlock my phone. You see I'm on my home screen, I've got several apps here. I can either pull up my notification bar by swiping up from the bottom of the screen and tapping on the camera depending on you know what app you're in or where you're at or I can just tap on my camera app. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now the first thing that I want to talk about in the camera app is just your basic photo setting that we're on. You may notice immediately that the iPhone has this yellow square popping around the screen and if you tap on uh, selective areas that will actually automatically adjust your brightness uh, and your depth of field. So depending on what you want to focus on as well as how bright or dark you want the photo to be, tapping on that specific area is really going to be what changes that setting for you. Now with iOS 8 we also have the ability to do uh, manual exposure so if you tap on a specific area you'll notice that the sun icon pops up on the right side of that square and you're able to drag your thumb up or down to raise and lower the brightness of your photo. So that's a really cool new feature. Now one fun fact about this uh, exposure feature is that if you tap and hold on a selective area you'll notice that in the square double blinks and then it goes into what's called an AEAF lock mode. That's auto exposure, auto focus lock, which means that as you're moving your camera around, maybe you're doing video, maybe you're doing uh, photos, that exposure and that depth is not going to change. It's going to remain the same. And this is really great if you want to get consistent footage uh, with depth. If you're shooting really fast shots, you might want to have your exposure and focus already set that way you can really uh, utilize the camera's extremely fast shutter speed. That's step one. Step two here you may see we also have settings which are HDR. This is an amazing uh, tool that the iPhone has built into its software which allows us to basically take multiple exposures and combine them into one. This is an amazing thing if you're shooting outside and the exposure of the landscape behind you is maybe brighter than your face or so on. It will actually balance out those shots for you. And it differs a little bit from what you may know HDR to be because traditionally HDR uh, is a lot more blown out and dramatic and extreme, which we will talk about in another video at another time. Other settings that you may see are the lightning bolt, which is your flash symbol. You can either set that to auto or on or off, as well as a self timer and the ability to change your camera from the front facing to the back. If we swipe the camera screen over, we're actually able to change modes. You'll notice that there's video, time lapse, square, and panorama. Uh, square is an awesome crop feature which is just preset because popular sites like Instagram are using square format photos and this is a great way to just envision what your photo is going to look like when you're uploading it to the social media site as well as the new time lapse which uses incredible algor algorithms to uh, actually stitch together your video into just absolutely amazing time lapses right in your camera roll and I've actually used these time lapses I used a time lapse that was really really great combined with HD uh, DSLR footage so it's really really comparable to the stuff that you're using and you can absolutely take awesome photos with your iPhone once you've actually taken a photo you can open it into several different apps. I actually recommend, personally, I use Snapseed. There's also Viesco Cam, a plethora of other editing apps. The iOS suite actually itself has a lot of new features built in, like the ability to adjust your exposure, shadows, warmth. A couple extra tips and tricks with shooting with the iPhone is that you are actually able to use the volume up button, as well as if you're using a headset that has a mic or volume button attached, you can use that volume up button as a shutter button. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you are able to take something out of it and use your camera.
further and faster and better to be able to get creative shots that you actually want. Thanks for tuning in, like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and comment with your own experiences too if you have any fun tips or tricks that you like to do with your iPhone or other mobile device.